morning already. Wow, that night flew by. Okay, it's time to get ready for my job interview. Mmm, those are good. Those, those are the best eggs I've ever cooked. These are perfect. This is a really good breakfast. Twelve seconds later. Mmm, that was a really good breakfast. Okay, time to rinse off my dish and then I can finish getting ready. Five minutes later. Okay, one final check before I leave. How do I look? Okay, I think I look fine. Need to get going. Oh, I really hope I'm not late. Okay, I have about 20 minutes. I think I can get there. Time to roll. One eternity later. Wow, I had no traffic the whole way. That never happens. Wow, right on time. Wow, I don't feel nervous at all. I actually feel great. Usually shaking like crazy for these types of things. Probably head in there. Don't want to be wasting any time. Many months later. Wow, that was a great interview. The weapons were so nice. This is the best interview I've ever had. Now, I'm kind of hungry. I need to go grab some lunch. Thank you! Hello! Oh, hi. You said my total was 12.23? Okay, let me go get that out. Actually, the webkins in front of you actually paid for your food, so you're good to go! Wow, really? Aw, that's really nice of them. Yeah, customers have such kind hearts. Here you go! Thank you! Oh, it was really sweet of that one webkins to pay for my food for me. Now, let me actually try my food. How's it taste? Mm. Mm, this is the best burger I've ever had. Usually it's overcooked, and sometimes it can be undercooked. Ugh. But this is the best burger I've ever had in my life. A few moments later. Okay, now, I like to head home and watch a movie after a long and cheerful day. Later. <sighs> It feels so good to get out of that suit. Time to relax and watch some Thor Ragnarok. Two hours later. Wow, that was a great movie. In fact, this entire day has been great. It almost feels like it's a... Hmm, who could be calling me? It's probably Dustin. Hello? Hello, Sammy. What? Mr. Noble? How on earth did you get my phone number? Oh, don't worry about that. I have my resources. Besides, there's something that I want to tell you. Didn't you say that already? What do you want to tell me? Better not be another one of those opportunities. There is something that you don't know about me that I've never told you before. Well, in all honesty, we don't really know each other very well. I bet there's a bunch of things that you haven't told me. But this... this is more important than anything else I've ever told you. You are adopted. Well... I don't believe you. I look just like my parents. Oh, trust me, Sammy. I know the real story. They've been wanting to tell you for the longest time, but I figured it'd be better coming from me. Why would it be better coming from you? We barely even know each other. Because I am your father. What? What? How could you be my father? This has got to be some type of joke. Oh, this is no joke, Sammy. I am completely serious. I felt that... I wasn't completely comfortable with my first child being a Samoyed, and I felt like I would be doing you a service by letting you be with someone of your own kind as your parents. Okay, so you're telling me that I've been with two Webkins that aren't even my parents for my entire life? I can't believe this is true. How can it get any worse? Oh, and Sammy, I have one more thing to tell you. What else could you tell me? That Scruffy is my niece or something? I am not Mr. Noble. What do you mean you're not Mr. Noble? You sound exactly like him. I am Dustin! And I am your father. Wait, what? Dustin? Why are you on the phone? Why isn't Mr. Noble there? Because, Sammy, it was never Mr. Noble to begin with. It's been me, and I am your true biological father. How are you my biological father? We've been best friends. This doesn't make any sense. Where am I? Can't you see, Sammy? 
We're at the top of a cliff. What is wrong with you, Dustin? You sound crazy. And you know what else, Sammy? What is it, Dustin? What else could you possibly tell me? This is a dream. Wait, what? <laughs> That's one of the craziest dreams I've ever had in my life. Can't believe I dreamt that Mr. Noble was my father. Oh, I shouldn't worry about that. I need to get ready for my real job interview. <laughs> Time to get ready. Wait, what? Yay! Brother's awake! Oh, hi, sweetie. You're awake. Come have your breakfast. Did you have a nice nappy? Um, I guess it was okay, but why are you in my- Oh, that's so good. Here, come have your Cheerios. Okay, first of all, it's nice that you offered me breakfast and all, but- why are you intruding in my house? You don't even live here. Oh, sweetie, this isn't your house, silly. It's your mommy's and daddy's house. You're much too little to have a house of your own. Um, I'm an adult. I'm perfectly capable of buying my own home. But what I'm wondering is that why are you calling me sweetie? And why are you talking to me like I'm two years old? Because, sweetie, you are two years old. How was I an infant? That was even weirder than my first dream. Okay, I really need to get ready for my job. Hi, Sammy. Who are you? And how did you get in my house? I have a spare key, like always. And I'm your best friend, Monty. We've known each other for years. Why would I give you a spare key? I've never met you in my life. Dustin is the only best friend that I have known. Oh, Dustin? He's dead. What? Dustin's dead? How'd that happen? Yeah, he was on the bridge in your front porch, and I actually stomped on him, and I felt so bad about it, I've been carrying him around ever since. Wanna see? I can't believe he died like that. And no, I don't want a dead body in my bedroom. Here you go. <laughs> ah, Dustin! I'm so sorry to have devastated you like this. Would you like to get a closer look? No, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Here you go. Ah. <laughs> what, that dream's over. Time to get ready for my job. Oh. oh, hi, Sammy. Dustin, you scared me. What are you doing here so early in the morning? Oh, sorry. I, I sh probably should have told you I was coming. Anyways, I came here to apologize for pushing you off that cliff. I hope you forgive me. That was a very unfriend-like thing to do, and I don't know what I was thinking when I did it. Please accept my apology. Um, I guess you're forgiven, but how do you remember about pushing me off that cliff? Oh, no, no, you don't have to worry about that. You have to worry about the meteor that's going to be coming to destroy Webkin's world in two hours, and how it will cause your impending doom. Wait, wait, what? What do you mean by that? Look up into the sky, Sammy. Do you see that big, bright, glorious light that's outside of your window? Uh, yes, I do. Isn't that the sun? I'll agree with you. It does look like the sun, but it's actually the impending meteor. It will destroy Webkin's world, turn it into a fiery furnace, all the Webkin's will perish, and within a couple hours, all hope and all Webkin's world will be completely obliterated, and there is nothing you can do about it. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no, that's terrible! Why didn't Webkin's news tell us about this? I don't know. They didn't want to scare any Webkin's, but the meteor is coming. You can tell that it's gonna destroy everything. Oh look! There it is now! Wait. What? <laughs> wow, I've never had Inception dreams before. Glad they're over. What? Who's there? Oh, good morning. Uh, hi, Dustin's grandma. Oh, I'm so glad that you're awake, Grandpa. <laughs> when will this end? Will I ever wake up? Hello, Sammy. Uh, I am your son. <laughs> Is it over? I'm getting out of bed.
What? What on earth? What? I didn't. Everyone remember saying this alarm. Justin. <laughs> <laughs>